Hi folks. About two years ago, my old natural gas water heater finally died. And when the plumber came to put the new one on, I found out it was now going to be a power vented unit where the old one was not. Uh, that means that there's an electric fan that sucks the exhaust out of the house and electricity actually runs all the electronics on it, the igniter, etc. Um, I ran it just as the plumber installed it for about a year, roughly till last spring. When I was thinking one day and I realized that the fact that it's plugged in to an outlet means that I have control of when the water heater can run by adding a timer. That's exactly what I did for this last about 10 months or so. The reason I chose this particular timer is because if I ever have a situation where I want the water heater to run outside of normal timed hours, it has a built-in switch on the side of it, which I can just turn on and then turn back off when I'm done as I wish without causing any outside issues that a standard timer would have had where you're reaching up and unplugging it, unplugging the timer, inadvertently bumping the timer buttons that you've set, losing the time that you've had on the timer. It just makes it a much simpler task to do. In my experiment, I decided to have the timer set up to have the water heater running for a total of three hours a day from 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. In our particular household, that works fairly well. We're unlikely to take a shower before 7.30. We're unlikely to take a shower after 10 a.m. Pretty rare. Uh, which means that the water heater has time to heat up before we take our shower, so everything seems normal in that regard, and usually leaves me with a full tank of hot water when we're all done with our showers, when it shuts down for the day. Over the course of the past year, having it running at those hours proved out to be pretty good. We didn't have to hardly mess with it at all. I would occasionally come down here and use the switch on the water heater timer to turn it on manually if we had some unusual situation late at night or something like that, but overall it was fine. In my area, natural gas costs about 83 cents a therm. A therm is 100,000 BTUs. This water heater is a 40,000 BTU unit, which means it can run for about two and a half hours on a therm, or it costs 33 cents an hour. At the end of December this year, I finally got to find out if it was an effective change to make to it, and was it worth the $5 I spent on the timer. I am on a budget plan through my local utility that evens out the bills so they're the same every month year round. At the end of December of each year, they send you a correction notice, uh, whether you were using more all the year long or less all the year long. They fix that at the end of December every year and give you the new number you're gonna have for the following year. Uh, I have been about $154 to $170 for the last several years. Uh, 154 last year reflected the fact that this was the newer, more efficient water heater than the old one. This year, the only change was the timer. Uh, it was in place for about the last 10 months of the year. Uh, the new bill went from 154 down to 139 Therefore, I am now apparently saving about $15 per month for the whole next calendar year. That's about $180 for the year. Um, I'm going to call that a win on a $5 timer that we most of the time don't even realize is operating. My utilities website shows average cost running different gas appliances. In our area, apparently the average cost to run a gas water heater like this is about $133 a month. Being on our timer running only three hours a day, the maximum it can possibly use is $30 per month. Uh, quite a big difference from 133. Uh, makes kind of a lot of sense though, to save that $15 per month that I am on my budget plan, that equates to about 36 hours of runtime monthly, which sounds like a lot, but if you break it down per hour, that's actually only three minutes per hour less that's running over the course of the month, which actually isn't that much. It's probably part of why we don't notice any lack of hot water. It's practically the same. But that is enough to have some good long-term savings. I'm going to recommend if you're able to do some sort of timing mechanism on your water heater, whatever type it is, this being the easiest kind because you're just plugging it to the wall, it's going to be worth it. You save enough money to make it worth your time. I know this video is quite different than the ones I usually do. I'm hoping some of you found it useful. Till next time.